Hi, and good evening to everyone. I'm Grace Walker. I have the opportunity this evening to be meeting with Herman Samuels, uh, who is a representative of the Trinidad and Tobago Association, Washington, DC. And he's going to discuss with us this evening the upcoming Mother's Day virtual concert. Welcome uh, to you, Herman. Well, welcome to you, Grace. It's really always nice to see you. And, and likewise. Herman, thank you for being here. I, I would like to invite you to share with us and, and with those who are looking on a little bit about yourself as well as your association with the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Washington, D.C. Well, uh, let me just start with my association with the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Washington, D.C. I joined the association in 1972. I was its vice president in 1976. 1977, we brought Callie Ann and the Trinidad and Tobago Steel Band to the semester there at Thomas, Thomas Circle. If you know, you know about Cali and you know it was the band at, the, at that particular time. So I've been at this for a while. I've held various offices in the Trinidad Bay Association. I have been office at large, parliamentarian, recording secretary, vice president, it's about just about everything you can think about. I was responsible. I was on the special events committee that did the 25th anniversary of the association in 1987. And I had the privilege and the honor of asking people not to come because we were totally sold out and could not accommodate them. The only time I've ever been able to say that and to do that, I, it just gave me a lot of pleasure. So that's it. Wonderful, congratulations. <laughs> do tell us about uh, the upcoming event of the Mother's Day virtual concert. I know that the, the association has been doing quite a few events and, and have been pretty much the stalwart of bringing Caribbean efforts to and events to our community. Share with us about the Mother's Day virtual concert. Well, the Mother's Day event is going to take place on Sunday, May 9th, and it starts at 6 o'clock. And you can just go to tpabc.org and you can view it either on the YouTube channel or Facebook. Like you said, we have done this a number of times. I have been on board for a while. So for the holiday concert, I, I talked to Alistair D. Mass. He's also a life member of the Trinidad Bay Association, and he and Marlon have pretty big databases. So I asked him to send the stuff out. Uh, Tracy Ames, who is a PRC brethren, also does the stuff for us. So I asked him to send it out and they, they both accommodated and called and talked to people and got the, got the word out. So for the Pan for Pan on the 24th of January, they asked me to do the advertising and that is what I did. And I guess maybe you might've liked it a little bit. So they asked me to do it again for the Mother's Day, which we call the Mothers with Love. We just want to love up the mothers. Listen, they are going to be so elated after we finish with them. I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do with themselves, <laughs> but, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to have the Eclipse Band, International Band, and the Eclipse performs in the United States mostly, I, I, would, I, would, I would say, but most Mostly up, up and down the East Coast, and they're very much in demand. They're very versatile. They play soca, calypso, reggae, compa. You know, they, it's an eclectic mix of music. And we have then a jack infusion. That, that group has been together for, since about 1985. Leonard was a member of Pont Clair uh, Steel Orchestra from South Trinidad. He was a member of the Trinidad and Tobago Steel Band and a founding member of Pan Masters uh, uh, Steel Orchestra, and still is a member of Pan, Pan Masters. His two daughters played in Pan Masters. So uh, Leonard is a renowned pianist. He, he performed in the first band concert. He was also the saving grace, I would say, in the Pan for Pan on the 24th of January. And I, he's gonna do a bang up job again on May the 9th. We have Josanne Francis. Josanne is the, I would say, the cultural director of CAFE. Uh, and CAFE is the cultural academy for excellence run by, by Lorna Green. But I think I, I think Josanne has taken on a lot of that responsibility. Josanne is very unique. She did her, bas her bachelor's at the University of Mississippi. She did a master's at Northern Illinois University. And she, had, I think it was 2019, was one of the artists in residence at the Strathmore. She has a trio and a, and a quartet, quartet. She is going to do the quartet with us. She performed on the dynamic concert, the pan concert we had, the first one. And she was absolutely wonderful and different. Joe Sanders is the first person, first pianist that I've seen perform with 
two pairs of sticks. I mean, it got everybody's attention. And and, and the, I, I guess the, the, the companies of, on, on Dulcimer, I mean, it was, I would say it was electric. I, I, I mean, it, it, it certainly had my attention, had me sitting on the, at, the, at, the, at the edge of my chair. I'm thoroughly enjoying every minute of that performance. Unfortunately, she was not well enough to, to record for the fan for fans so we had to do a substitution, but we're really glad to have her on this show. Kay Shepard hails from Baltimore, and I've known Kay since she was pretty small. Kay played with St. Veronica's band, and she uh, played with fan masters, but she went to Berkeley School of Music. She had, that's when she got a bachelor's, and she has a post-baccalaureate uh, certificate in musical entrepreneurship. So I guess, I guess that's probably, other than performing, where she's probably gonna, gonna go which makes a lot of sense. And so she is a very accomplished pianist, as is Lenny Rogers, who also hails from Baltimore. And Len, Len, Lenny could play all night. He, he, he can carry a party by himself. You know, it, it, it goes without saying. So I think we have a really good lineup and we, I think we're gonna wow these people on May the night. I, I, it, it, it's gonna be the social event of the season. If you miss this, it, I don't know what to say. I, I just go to sleep and wait until we do the next one. We've been getting a lot of help from the from the radio stations. Yes. I did an interview with uh, with Brian Bernard and WPFW. Did one with Tony Qua. That was uh, on on Sunday. I'm going to take one for WEA with Neil Matai and Sunshine Radio, which is Bobby Adams. They're going to do a clip and they're going to run it for me for a week. So we've been getting a lot of help. We, but, but these are people that that I have known that we have known for a long time. They're all community-oriented, and for things like that they consider good for us, they just step up and they just help. I do you. <laughs> we can't leave you out because you are doing what you do, and we totally appreciate it. You know, I, I, we, we, we can't do what we do without the help of a lot of people. We have a terrific team. We have Claudia Carter. We have Jeff Smith. We have uh, Willoughby Francis. Willow does most of the tech stuff, but you know, getting the artists together, seeing about the recording, blah, blah. He does that with Greg. And, and I, I kind of take care of the business side of the stuff. Go out and try to get the money to put the things on, get people paid, because in this pandemic, everybody's inside, artists and audience. Mm -hmm. And things are a little tough. So whatever we can do, to, to, to make uh, make things possible for folks to have a payday, I think is, is appreciated. Um, it helps us, it helps them, you know, so we will continue to do that. We uh, we have a portal, a TTADC for the volcanic relief, but I'm pretty sure that we are going to donate some of the money we make to the volcanic relief because that problem is not going away. That's got all the way to India. Barbados is full of dust. What I'm saying is that we have to step up and the Trinidad Big Association has always stepped up, whether, whether it was earthquake, whether it was hurricane, whatever it happens to be, we are always in the forefront of that mission to do whatever we can to alleviate the situation. It, it, it is remarkable, again, as you have shared, the community of people who come together to ensure that not only do we share the talents of the community, but we also share giving back. And um, we want to, and, and you can endorse this and expand on it, to encourage everyone who visits the link this coming Sunday, uh, this is gonna be the virtual concert for Mother's Day to Mothers with Love by the Trinidad and Tobago, presented by the Trinidad and Tobago Association that you will find within yourselves the generosity to give back. So do tell our audience how they can do that also. Well, the audience can go to ttadc.org and just press the donate button. And it's really that simple. I have been doing my own efforts because I have a patrons list. And so we have already started to, to, to receive funds from various people who would like to support the event that, we, that, that, that we're undertaking. Also in your community, you have had sponsors of businesses that given them the opportunity to be recognized may also be to their benefit. Would you like to share some of the names of some of those 
business community? Absolutely. <laughs> we couldn't do it without them either. We have Royce and Isuzu, Caribbean Cargo, Gabriel Christian. Yes. We have uh, Jennifer and Trevor Selman from Crown Bakery. Uh, we have Marcus Adams. And we have the Industrial Bank. Industrial Bank gave us the first mortgage when we bought 1501 Delphine Place in 1972. And they have been with us ever since, and we with them. So it is a real, it's, I call it a symbiotic relationship that we have with Industrial Bank. They have always been there for us and we, we, we hang with them. So we encourage people, especially people that look like us, to deposit their money in institutions that will seek their interest because you don't have to worry about red line and all that kind of stuff. You know you're going to get the best bang for your buck. The same thing with, Cari with, with, with Caribbean Cargo. We all have people somewhere in Trinidad, in St. Vincent, in Barbados. Caribbean Cargo will take care of all your needs, ship your stuff to you, get it there safely, whatever the case may be. If you in, if you need a uh, legal services, Gabriel Christian is there and his firm to take care of whatever you need. And of course, the last one that we, the, the, the last concert we did, the Pan for Pan, when people saw that Crown Bakery ad, they wanted to eat that stuff off the screen. You know, I mean, what can I tell you? So go to Crown, let them know who you are. Tell them, let them know, let them know. The Trinidad Tobago Association is responsible for me being here because I saw your ad. And, and, and so I come to taste some of those treasures that you prepare on a daily basis. And I know too that you do have the community of Caribbean uh, representation, Lockhart Insurance Services, who continue to be a part of uh, the, the, you know, this symbiotic relationship with TTA ADC. TJ Lockhart is a life member of the Trinidad Big Association. The thing that's unique about the Trinidad and Tobago Association is that you don't have to be from Trinidad or Tobago to become a member of the Trinidad and Tobago Association. We were forward looking and unique. When this organization started, if you weren't from Trinidad and Tobago or uh, your parents from Trinidad and Tobago, all you needed was five members to sign up for you and you became a member. And I mean, I don't mean a second class, I mean a full fledged member. If you look at the founding members of the Trinidad Bay Association, you will see Hazelwood and Sanguinetti. One, one from Ghana, I think the other one is from Jamaica. That the founding of the organization. So we were we were inclusive and still and we are still inclusive. See, the thing is when the community was smaller, a lot of people from other places, other islands belong to the Trinidad Bay Association. As their population grew, they left and formed their own organizations, which is fine. But we still had that relationship and we maintain that relationship till today. We cooperate with all the other, you know, whether it's the Jamaican Nats, the Bible, the, whomever. We cooperate because we're all pretty much from the same place. The ship just dropped us in different places, but we're all the same people. Marvelous. So again, just repeat to our audience the upcoming event, its date, time, and I will ensure that we have the links available to in, uh, to provide all of our audience uh, the clickable links to see the live stream. So please tell us about the upcoming event again. Well, again, it's Sunday, May the 9th at, at 6 p.m. It's going to go to about 8.30. And you can access this by going to ttadc.org. Just click on events and you, can, you have your choice of the YouTube channel or Facebook. We want to thank everybody we want to thank you. We want to thank all the on -air personalities that have, that, 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 that have uh, accommodated us. We want to thank all the people who already started sending donations because they're coming to me, they're going to the site, they, they, they're sending this stuff by self. We want to thank all those people for, for making this, for making this event a success. Herman, again, I want to say thank you so much for being a part of this evening's exchange and for allowing me to share this time and, and to, to have such a wonderful conversation.